Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way. Hey honey child, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, honey, you are welcome. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that post notification bell so you can be notified every time a honey posts a video. So guys, I know it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute. Uh, the last time I uploaded was uh, during the travel vlog. I'm sorry my loves I did not abandon you guys I did not abandon you so anyway um, in today's video it's a video that was recommended by somebody asked me a question I will put their name in the in the description I'm sure it's Sun and Habs if I'm saying it correctly if I'm saying it wrong I'm really sorry but I'll just put on a clip they were asking me about um, cities that I recommend uh, in terms of teaching English here in China Thank God I've experienced living in a first in a new first tier city, which is Hangzhou. Hangzhou is um, It was fast developing like right now. It's quite developed and um, I've left in the south where majority of the people are and I now I'm living I'm experiencing life living in northern part of China where not many people are because it's really cold it's a really cold area um, so what I've done is I've written down a bunch of things here on my little paper if you guys see me looking down this is what I will be just I'll be just getting to my notes so that I don't leave out something because you know sometimes you get to forget things but uh, did I say that if you're new here subscribe Please do subscribe, honey. If you haven't subscribed before, we dive right into the video. Subscribe, guys. I'm waiting for you. Subscription is totally free, guys. It's free. It's just clicking on that red, 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 red box. Like, just click on it, honey. Don't be afraid and push that bell, you know, so that you know every time I upload a video. And if any of you guys have anything, any questions, don't be shy. Comment down below and I will get back to you just like I did to this honey okay one thing i will tell you about living in the south is life is quite expensive and you know if life there is if life is expensive there it also comes with a higher paycheck you get what i mean and also the second thing is the third thing is also um because it's an international city first tiers are mostly international cities you get mostly so it just means that more foreigners and as a teacher also you get a great social life but when it comes to this side in the north um less people uh less demand and also because in the north i believe it's like an it has an old population if you get what i mean not many schools are here so also means that um there is a lesser payment as compared to people working in the south if you get what i mean and also um because also the quality of life here is very very cheap and very very affordable as compared to the south imagine before i came to changchun i used to use like to go somewhere to even go downtown i would need like a hundred hundred rmb which is like nearly 11 13 us dollars just in the same city but here in the city i can never spend as much i cannot spend like going further I can't the furthest I can use for taxi money is like 50 RMB which is half of that amount that I use I used to use when I was in the south you get what I mean also um it just shows you like which part so if which which cities I would recommend honey truth be told if you are a person that is outgoing if you're an extrovert most definitely go for cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou and any city that you find that is near these provinces. So let me just put them in a small bracket. If you are an outgoing person, you like being in the crowd, you like living in the moment, um, I, I would greatly suggest that you go live in Zhejiang province where you can find Hangzhou, Ningbo, um, 
those cities that are you you can find you in Zhejiang, Jinkwa, cities like that you can find it's a little bit vibey you get what i mean you get and also you can just they're like together even if you're in hangzhou it takes you like one hour to get to the next to any of the cities that i've mentioned and also shanghai shanghai is literally 45 minutes out of hangzhou by by speed by speed train yeah by by speed train by fast train train um something like that and also um i would suggest train, like other cities that are in the south that are vibey if you're an outgoing person try guangzhou guangzhou is like the africa like if if you are nigerian if you reach in guangzhou just know that home sweet home like that place is really crowded with people from west africa uh sierra leone ghana ghana sorry ghana and you get what i mean so there and also not 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 that um guangzhou also you find markets there if you are into buying and selling and maybe you are working as a teacher and maybe you want to be doing the export import thing maybe sending things back home guangzhou is the best guangzhou shenzhen is the best place because shenzhen and guangzhou they are closer to each other you can easily transit like just like i said uh, hangzhou and shanghai are close together whereas beijing beijing is expensive but not expensive as shanghai beijing is not even in the south beijing is up here at the north near to closer to where i am right now um but beijing is quite expensive guys everything there is expensive i have seen people that are working as english teachers that are constantly tired for working in beijing so that maybe a quarter or a quarter of their salary has to go to bills and as you imagine when they look at us like me i'm zimbabwean i'm not a native english speaker i'm not recognized as a native english speaker irregardless of how zimbabwean's english is amazing we are not recognized here in the world as a, a, a first language country we are recognized as um i don't know i i don't i don't have the vocabulary for that so so if you are not south african if you're not american if you're not jamaican i don't know other countries if you're not australian honey they will give you a slight a slightly like maybe if a native is get in your city maybe a native if she's getting like 25k you as a non native you are getting 21 or 20 on the dot you see what i mean so there is that difference to just give you a benchmark but if you are an introvert like me somebody who likes to keep themselves inside the house somebody that people when they look at me they mistaken me for an extrovert or right now because my the person that i'm currently with in my life is an extrovert so every time sorry guys every time i'm always constantly going out meeting people so i can say sometimes i can turn to be extrovert and sometimes my introvertness like just overwhelms i'm a person that just likes to read my books at home after work i go straight home from like from the shop i go straight home there is no in between of like oh let me try do this let me try do that no no no, no. i'm not that kind of person like i'm not that kind of person anywho so um chang chun for me is like it, the only thing that i hate about chang chun is is freaking cold like it's really cold the north is really really cold and it snows most of every every single winter like when i was in the south it only snowed like the first year and the last year of my varsity after i came like to Chang here in changchun it snows literally three quarters of the winter it will be snowing it will be snowing sorry it will be snowing and you'll be walking like penguins i trust you me it's just like that so so if you are an, in, an introvert person you can never go wrong with the north and even if you are native you'll be wondering like oh i'm native and if you're saying the northern part they are not highly paid i trust you me here we can 
there are other natives that you can find here in the north that are being paid 40k per month 40,000 RMB per month and you can find some are getting 35 it just depends whether it's an international school and it also just depends with the way you just bargain you you when you are negotiate your negotiation skills it only it always depends on that so um yeah that's it from me guys i hope you guys this video was helpful and thank you so much for thank you so much to sun and herbs um for asking this question i hope you get the answer and it's clear and if if it's not clear enough and if you have so many other questions i'm going to leave my email somewhere on the screen you guys can just um dm me or also i just leave also my email and my email my email and my instagram account so that whichever is um convenient for you you can reach me but i trust you me i rarely check my email so instagram is the way to go i don't wanna lie i check my emails like maybe twice every week and my instagram i open it every single day so and also if if you feel like it's taking too much time also i get notifications every time somebody comments on my videos here on my youtube studio so the fastest is youtube studio instagram then email in that order respectively like in that order anyway like this video give it a big fat thumbs up i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye my loves